Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. Since Jane Austen is one of our favorite authors of all time, we prioritize watching the adaptations of her novels on both TV and the cinema. Since the invention of the cinema, her works have proved to be highly adaptable, making Austen the author whose works adapted the most. To be honest, we're not surprised to see that because her characters are like one of us and her stories are highly relatable to everyone, even in the modern age. Despite the fact that her stories take place in 19th century England, we feel like her themes are universal to everyone, which is why they are loved and appreciated this much. Even in her incomplete novel, Sanditan, we can witness the character growth of her characters. Especially her female characters, in Sanditan's case Charlotte, are often very open to growth and take lessons from their poor experiences so that they can make the right decision in life. We believe this is a unique success of Austen, which is why we value her female characters very highly. The majority of her male characters share the same characteristics as well. However, some of them are notorious for being heartbreakers with lots of charm but questionable actions. In the case of Sanditon, the name we are referring to is Sidney Parker, played by Theo James. In season 2, we didn't see Sidney Parker, which created a major gap within the show as we got used to seeing him with Charlotte in the previous season. But the rumor has it that Theo James is getting ready to return for season 3 and we cannot wait for it. In season 1, we witnessed a slow burn romance between Sydney and Charlotte as they gradually move from enemies to lovers, and yet their romance was not enough to keep them together as Sydney had to make a tough choice between his love and his obligations. He chose the latter by returning to his ex and marrying for money. This was a total shock for Charlotte as she was madly in love with him. According to Rose Williams, who is playing the part of Charlotte, the heartbreak that Sydney has caused was vital for Charlotte's growth. It was amazing that she came back, but I was grateful for the gap between the end of season 1 and the start of season 2, as it felt like I could step into Charlotte as a really strong second chapter, and I could relate to her more because she'd been through emotional experience. Of all the Austin awesome heroines, I feel the most connection to Anne from Persuasion because she's lived a bit and been through heartbreaking pain. To meet Charlotte having had a life experience that forced her to grow emotionally was really beneficial for me because I can connect to her more. We meet her processing the grief of losing a man that she fell in love with, but grappling with how she can grieve, because it was, so to speak, a secret love. We meet her craving adventure again, she said in a recent interview, underlining that this heartbreak didn't become the end of her character. Still, we believe the return of Theo James as Sydney is a must for Charlotte to move on as she deserves an apology and a cathartic moment in which she realizes she is no longer in love with this man. Thus, even though he will not be there for an entire season, we believe James will be present within at least an episode or two to have a higher expected confrontation with Charlotte. Would you like Charlotte to end up with Sydney Parker? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.